So, uh, so yeah, so your watch passes uneventfully besides that, mm. and then Phi wakes up and takes his watch and goes, get some sleep. I sleep with the innocent strength and comfort of knowing that my burly protector will make sure that nothing hit dangerous happens. So I sleep so deeply that the dead themselves will not wake me. Okay. So, uh... Oh, by the way, is Gears around? No, Gears... Gears... Oh, that's right. So you haven't... High you still know. haven't been able to contact Gears. Okay. But, like, because he's probably too far out of range. Even on the plane. Even on okay. the plane. There is a um, range to it. Yeah. So, like, maybe as you get closer to the ear, you'll be able to contact him okay. again. Because, unlike these guys, my familiar and I... First of all, I'm not familiar with having a familiar. Right. And number two, he's more like a distant pal than a familiar. Right. And so it's not like we don't get along, he's but like these... Yeah, we don't have an pal. intimacy like they do with them. He's really just there to get your soul when you die. Yeah, like, exactly. That's, what it is. Like, <laughs> that's that's why he's part of this deal. He's like, I'm he's the best kind of friend. He gives you some else. powers and says whatever. Yep. Uh, okay, <laughs> so uh, so yeah, the rest of the night passes uneventfully as far as you guys know, and then you wake up in the morning to uh, find like tapping you all on the shoulders. Mm. So refreshing. Yeah. The best nap I've had in days, if not weeks. So you guys are up. Uh, you notice that as the dawn sun rises, you can just barely see it through the gray overclass clouds above you. And uh, a fine kind of like rain has started to sprinkle down. Like a light, light rain has started to sprinkle down and hit your faces. That's a good sign. Um, everybody seems all right. Dejriel, although, curiously enough, you wake up with like this, this like raging headache. Like, it's just, it really hurts. Like, your head is, like, on fire. It almost feels like you've, you've got, like, the worst migraine. Oh, like, I slept too much, and it's like you, like, over overdid it? Maybe. Like, that could be it. Or It's it's like a new experience, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's painful. <sighs> Man. I feel like it's because I haven't had enough amber, and I'll take an extra lick this morning. Okay. I'll take an extra bite of the amber. Does it help? It, it doesn't alleviate the headache. Oh, rough. Ooh, maybe you're dehydrated. Ugh. I know, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, you get really, yeah. Do we have water? Or? Yeah, I mean, you guys could drink some water and stuff like that. It's but... raining. You just gotta collect some. It's a mist. Yeah, you know how long it takes to, like, get a... Yeah, all morning. So what do you guys want to do as you wake up? Vir just, like, Vir just, like rises soundlessly and, like, I'm looks gonna, around. I'm gonna and... break out my, my breakfast item. Okay. Whatever that is. And, and my my uh, Egg McMuffin sandwich. <laughs> Whatever you hear in the microwave. I blame uh, my headache on the salted uh, fish and the uh, like that. I think I ate too much and I have a sodium headache. So Could do be we it. have any food supplies? Because if you recall, the last time we we left our uh, the, the, the Dulahan is we left to go to the party. Yeah, I don't think you guys there have was a lot food of stuff. at the party. Oh, and oh. we teleported to another dimension. Oh, yeah. And then we're back to here. We don't have we any don't have traveling any, We supplies. don't have any of, like, our regulars. We just yes. have ourselves and, like, whatever you would, like, carry on our person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't really have... You don't I have, have my adventuring gear because I showed up as a adventurer. Right. It's true. But, but, but I, but I did didn't. You, would you have brought, like, five days rations? I would not have brought five days rations, but I ate a whole day's worth of fish just a few hours ago. You didn't eat a ton of fish. I mean, you guys, you guys like don't feel hungry. You know, when you first wake up no. and you have to like wait a few minutes before you really yeah, get the so, yeah, yeah. so it sounds like I need to do some uh, scavenging. Yeah, it might might be needed. That whole time you guys Let's were talking about like check out the temple. destroying the doors, I was just eating fish. <laughs> so Virgus there must goes, be something good in the temple. <laughs> Virgus well, goes. Maybe we can catch some fish. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm I'm gonna go check out the coastline. And he like wanders away. Ooh, go find some food. Yeah, I could I could definitely catch a fish. I <laughs> oh you know what do I it. Can, you guys do like. It. Do you guys like French food? No. I step away from the camp just a little bit. Okay. Uh -oh. Frogs. And it's magic just, missile. And it's oh just my God. frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone. No, oh, I got the bare minimum of 12. Oh, you have eight. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. I have plus so, eight. So what like, do you shoot with the missile? Just a tree or something? Yeah, just a tree. Because, and then the mist <laughs> around you slowly, like, it, it's falling a bit, and then slowly, suddenly, Goes there's. From Tadpoles. Yeah, yeah, like tadpoles, and then slowly like starts falling, and then one of the frogs like hits your shoulder and bounces off, and goes, and then like another couple fall down and pelt you again. I gather up the frogs. <laughs> oh my god! And return to camp. You you, you got it. You got about ten frogs. Oh, this is awesome. That's ready for frog legs. <laughs> yeah. Fi, was... Fi looks at them and goes, "Where did you? Oh, never mind." <laughs> Frogs just we like him. Frogs for breakfast. What, what, when Virgis walks off, I'm gonna give Fi a look that Virgis should probably be kept an eye on. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, fi- Fi nods and goes, all right. And then he, like, he like works on, like, cooking the frog legs yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, you guys... <laughs> this is, like, the most awesome, like, thing is, like, we can just never be out of food as long as you can I don't get know how it took, This is it took, insane. It took almost a year for me to figure that out. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> so, you guys, and, you guys eat frog legs. And guess what? Tail had the same thing. He could also summon frogs. Oh, my God. He just never did it. That's just... right. Never thought of it. Man, those frogs have been of such use in this campaign. I know, right? Yeah. In the last like, campaigns. Yeah. Well, it's it's because it like can trip people. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, oh, a magic missile. I, that's what I want to do. But like now, you got to do a, a, a reflex save. And frogs. Say, oh, it's frogs a dwarf. Do more, he doesn't have. Yeah. And they set off frog, traps. It's frog rain with. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. With the magical it's frog bonus, bonus. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the magic the, missile. The, the magic missile is just a side effect. It's the frogs that are the important part yeah. of the spell. Mercurial magic missile. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're gonna get tired of frogs real quick, though. So you guys, so you I'm guys, already tired of frogs. <laughs> I'm taking one bite. Delicious frog legs, and uh, um, Fi like at one point he's like he puts his food down and sticks his head up in the air and then like gets up and wanders off towards the direction Burgess went. Mm. And then mm. after a few minutes, he comes back and sits down and starts eating again. Licking blood off his claws. No. <laughs> <laughs> he starts well, eating. He's been taken care of. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then eventually, Virgis comes back and, mm. like, continues eating. And Virgis goes, so, we, uh, you guys really planning on taking out that temple? Well, we're investigating. You know, there's a whole city we need to kind of get back to, to, to uh, take care of some Look, things. all I know is my god has compelled me to go to the temple and slay an enemy. <sighs> We're going to use the following It will Gomen's take lead. but yeah. a few hours, and then we will be on our way to Lear. From what I've learned, you either follow Joven or you go alone. And uh, that's what we said last time, and it was like two days ago, and we ended up in a hell dimension. <laughs> and, uh, to the temple! Yeah. <laughs> and it great... goes, why don't we just attack the dwarves and steal their boat? We'll do that after the temple. Uh, this is an unnecessary <laughs> risk. Joven is like Superman. It's yeah. like, there's one thing to do. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm awesome. I'm going. Okay. Follow me. So you're going to move towards the temple. You guys going to follow? All right. So you guys begin to move inland, and uh, Phi, like, walks along. You know, is Phi his... going to help us with this, or is he going to... No, yeah, yeah, going to help. He like, he, like, walks along, and then you guys walk along for a while, and then he gets down on all fours and goes, I'll go check up ahead, and, like, rushes off and disappears into the into the underbrush. Wow. I just Much wanna... appreciated. I just want to point out that... You should totally become that character who prays every five minutes. Is like, should should I eat this fish? Should I agree to the door's deal? Yeah. Should I kill the we'll door? Should I let to. Mary I, summon I, I auto truce. Yeah. yeah, you can concentrate. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. every single moment. It's like, should I, should oh, I yeah. leave now should, and agree? Should no. five scout ahead? <laughs> oh yeah, you want to ask that? Concentrate. Sure. It's free. Ninety nine percent. What about that one percent? I'm gonna get a, a, a wrong one and kill us because I'm gonna do it like 300 yeah, yeah. times. Should we step into? The, is there a magical? Uh, is there a magical bridge over this lava? Yes. Yes. All right, guys, let's go. Uh, I trust in my God. This, this, this is how you play cleric, guys. Should I wear the red tie or the blue tie for this debate? <laughs> Every no. So as as you like concentrate on that question, you're like uh-huh. eyes open for a minute, and you see this image of like fire rushing forward, uh-huh. and then uh, you see like one of the guys in the robes like kneeling down and Fi like appears behind him and just knocks him out and then disappears again oh, nice he doesn't even kill them that's very yeah, that's right. very nice of him and so that's you nice. assume that would be yes signs point to yes uh, it's yes. probably okay I mean, ask again later that these cultists are going to be hostile yeah, do- as soon as we see him um so so we didn't go over me mentioning it to Fi but like I told him about the us wanted to go to the temple yeah and I also mentioned that I didn't want any of the cultists harmed if possible oh you did okay so the trade could be sustained with the dwarves okay. because that's their preference that's fine if we so, happen to steal all their gold and leave them alive fine whatever so so knowing <laughs> so knowing that fire would be more <laughs> diplomatic about his about his actions yeah but you guys proceed forward for a while and eventually um you notice that this island and the pine trees is actually a, a rather thick forest like this this is a surprisingly thick uh forest and you can always kind of see the temple in the distance through the trees but it gets kind of hidden now and then um so you go wandering through there, passing by a variety of, you know, these fine pine trees. Uh, one interesting thing you notice is that you can't really hear any birds or anything on this island. Like, there doesn't seem to be any woodland animals either, which is curious. Mm. The cultists ate them. Well, I mean, they live here. Sure. That, they, that could they be it, yeah. Have, it's a small island. Yeah. They only have so many sources of 
Well, if they have to keep having food brought here, it means that they have no way of cultivating or creating their own food source. Yeah, they've depleted they're paying a them. lot of they've money They've depleted them. All they have is gold. And... By the way... Probably just, like, keep creating it from some dark ritual and give... See, I don't believe that. Dondrio is convinced that they are sitting on, like, a vat of gold. Like, there's more gold than they can swim in. Because clearly, Maybe. as soon as they yeah. said that they were paying, like, 2,300 gold That's every so month... That's so much. I'm like... Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I don't know what... Joven's motivations are, but there is going to be so much gold. There's a lot of gold. Maybe gold. I'm not against is, taking gold. Maybe gold is your mortal enemy. There's just a big thing of gold there. You're it's, like, that's it. Gold I, gotta, I gotta destroy it. Yeah. Again with the gold golems. Okay. It's gold so, golems. So, uh, so yeah. After a while, you guys move on, and eventually you come to this point where the trees uh, break open and reveal this clearing, and you can see that you've come across this patch of what looks to be berry bushes. And there's a variety of them all around you. And there's these little tiny green, greenish berries um, that look kind of unripe. And you can see that there are a couple of hmm. people from the clearing where you're watching uh, moving about with these baskets and, like, picking these berries oh. slowly. The uh, unripe berries. Yeah, well, yeah, the unripe berries. And they seem to be dressed in the robes you saw in your vision with, hmm. the, with the diamonds and the slashes. Well, what's up? Are they coffee merchants? Are these coffee plants? <laughs> they don't look like coffee right. plants. <laughs> Greetings, like sir. Would be. And like, as you yell, I'm at, stunned because I did not expect that. <laughs> yeah, that I didn't you know, expect it either. I was, like, <laughs> I was like all stealthy and then suddenly like, hey. As, as you yell at, like one of them jumps and almost drops his basket and turns to look oh, at you. Oh, I did not mean to start you. Huh. 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 And he like looks at you like oddly and peers at you for me and goes, who, who are you? How did you get to this island? Uh, we're here to visit the temple. We are we are traveling merchants. And like the the two like people look back and forth to each other. So and they immediately the God just of like truth. <laughs> no, God of wis- wis- God wisdom, of information. wisdom and true sight have nothing to do with telling the truth. And they they immediately like look at each other as soon as you say that, and they drop their baskets and <coughs> run in the opposite direction towards the temple. They just break. They just book it. I'm gonna go over and pick up the basket. <laughs> Apparently, you never get any temple tourists ever. <laughs> yeah, like so. So as soon as they book it, you hear this How whisper rude. in your ear, Daedriel, and it's it's fine. He says, "You want me to stop them?" Yeah. Okay. So there's like this there's sure, like this whisper care. of things moving through the bushes for a minute, and then the two cultists are like running, and one of them just goes and just falls, and then one's like whoa, whoa, and then he like falls over as well, and just they both hit the ground. It appears the as though <laughs> yeah they've transferred some sort of. Uh, disease to them. Did I? These are there, people who have there not. Only, there are only two of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They, as soon as you spoke to them, they ran away in fear, and they've dropped dead at your very sight. Now, I'm I'm gonna run over to them. They're not dead. Fias just or, knocked them out. Can I tell that they're not dead? Yeah, they're they're still breathing. Does this look surprisingly oh. like his vision of Fi knocking one of them out? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. suddenly, yeah. It's like, oh, oh look, it's that guy. Oh, good, they're they're, they're okay. Tattoo. Yeah. Well done, Fi. And Fi Fi like sits over in the corner. And he goes, eh. Now that we're here and close up, can we kind of look carefully at the pattern on the robes that yeah. he had seen? Everybody give me an intelligence check. Ha ha! 16. 8. Oh! 8. Uh, nice. Well, you two don't recognize it, but Merrick does. Because if What's you look it? at the diamonds the right way, they kind of look like eyes. And in a certain way... Oh, oh your mortal enemy. It reminds you a lot of the symbol of the Keepers of Laura. Oh, man. Can I look into their eyes? That makes so much sense, can... though. Because we were, they were going to be delivering the... Oh, that's right! Vanus's corpse to this location. Oh, my gosh. That's so... You want to look in their eyes? Yeah. Which eye? Uh, it's the left eye, I sure. think. So you, oh, like, they, open we up... We still have eye worms. You, like, open up oh one my of gosh, their they left totally eyes probably know and you're into curse? it. You peer into it, and then inside you think you see this little tiny shadowy worm figure going, and it like darts around inside the eye. Mm. I am going to attempt to remove curse on myself from the eye eye worm. Because I haven't done this before. Would you like to concentrate on that decision? I would like to concentrate on that decision yes. beforehand. <laughs> Thank you, I'd forgotten. You All should right. never do anything. I, ever I just forget. Yes. Like yeah. something natural. Don't forget you get plus one to everything. Yep. Uh, so you concentrate on that decision, and you get this vision in your head. You get two visions. So, like, you get one vision, and then another vision, uh, like, on top of it, but separate. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and then the vision you get in your head is you casting a remove curse on yourself. And in one version of the vision, your eye opens and like green light shines out on it. And you're just like, ah, and you're fine. In the other version of the vision, your eye opens and then you go, ah, and your left eye explodes. One I saw these simultaneously. One yeah. means you succeeded on the spell and the other means you failed. Let's do it. Oh, man. Get a plus one on it. I do. That is a success with 15. Let's look up I have a plus curse. nine on my check. I fail on one through three. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, that's, oh, a, yeah, that's, right. I, that's a second I don't even spell. fail yeah. on a three. I Wait. fail on one and two. Yeah. Also, don't you now have the level of spell that lets you restore lost body parts? That too. So yes. if your eye exploded, the world would be gone and you could just make your eye back. <laughs> yeah, I could. 15. Restore vitality. You got a 15? I got a 15. You, that's a failure. What? Ooh. According to Remove Curse. Really? Oh, is it a third level spell? Uh, yeah, it is. Oh. So, so yeah, mark it off like normal. So you you bring the symbol up to your what? eye and like mm-hmm. remove curse and like, and this green light shines upon it and then suddenly you like grab your eye and it oh, just hurts. It's in pain and like you back away from me and you're like ah 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 and then you turn silently to the others and then your left eye they see Joven's eye just inflate oh. a bit and then it just goes and explodes. And massive <sighs> pain just racks through your head. You scream loud, like it it, go, it covers over like the island and stuff. Oh my goodness, this is not the time for this. <laughs> and you drop down to your knees, and the berry bushes is like a little bit of blood like leaks out over your hands. I'm gonna attempt to restore vitality on my eye. Okay. Wow, you had only a thirty percent chance uh, of failing. Roll with a d sixteen because you're in such pain. Oh, my concentrating will not help me. This is a... Uh, you don't have one, so you're gonna have to roll a D. I now realize the eye worm is... Yeah, I got one. Wait, what? We do have D6? Oh, I guess no. I lost it. No, okay, so I do have one. <laughs> but this is with the same modifier? Uh, yes. So that's a 9 plus 9 is 18. 18. For... what is it? What's the name of the spell? Restore, Restore vitality. vitality. Restore Vitality, that's right. 19? Yeah, I believe that's the one that does body parts. Wait, no, because, no, you got 18, right? Uh, Lay on hands doesn't do... Yeah, 18. Like... It's the same. Serious damage. I don't... If it was supposed to do... Or if it was supposed to be lay on hands, it okay. was lay on hands. But so, you you bring your hand up to your eye with the symbol. And you're just like, ah, ah, And you, you concentrate really hard. And mm-hmm. then, eventually, there's this, there's this green kind of, like thing that bathes your like and you guys see Joven's uh body as these green pulses go out of or over it and reveal his like skeleton and muscular system. Oh we've seen this before yes. we love it when he does this. As it pulses again and again and then you like pull a symbol away from your eye and uh your eye socket and this green light suddenly shines out of your eye hole. Just just shines out and it goes and it, it shines out for a while and then uh your eye starts to like knit itself back together. But part of the way through, it stops and then like slowly starts to erase again. And this green light just shines out of your eye socket and the pain goes away. But then you hear this voice in your head and it says, no, this is an opportunity, a test of faith. And then like you like you you wait for a moment and then the light continues to shine out and you like blink your eye and when you do all that's remaining in the socket that you guys can see is just this dim green light that shines out of it oh my gosh you're you more can, awesome than ever so i can you see can still, still you can still apparently see oh, normally oh yeah <laughs> this is so much better but True you're like sight. yeah you're like, this is so much cooler approaching you're like looking oh. at you're like looking out over the berry bushes <laughs> and as you look around you guys don't see Fi at all like he's mm. invisible but Jovan, you look over and you can see like this green outline of Phi just oh. sitting there with his legs crossed. Oh man, I'm just getting so many goodies. Oh my gosh, this so is many ridiculous. Goodies today. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you were. This is so much better than having your eye back. Like oh. now it's like I, I'm clearly the but servant the natural. Fi, how was Fi, this a I test can... of faith? It seems like a reward. We'll have to wait and see. Well, could in... it be that you might see more than you're supposed to? More Does than he you see are. That your soul is darkly uh, no. consumed by human sacrifice. No. Uh, or the next what? time you summon Does, the wardrobe, so you can see that the wardrobe for what it really is. Would you like to turn your eye upon any other members Does, of the party? Does he look I at mean, me? I mean, I, see, like, I look skeletons? around to see if I can see like, like, all, yeah. all around me. Okay. 
So I, like, I saw that. So like you look around would be normal. and uh, nothing else seems to be like abnormal about when you're looking around at the island. Although it's weird because um, at certain points where you're looking at the like one part of the island, you'll see like this this flicker. Like every now and again, there's a slight flicker as if some kind of like um, gaseous smog hangs over the temple. But it like flickers in and out of your vision. Like you can't see it. Um, other than that, looking on the other members of the party, you don't really notice anything as much. Uh, except when you turn your eye upon Percival. Yeah. What? Um, so as you turn your, your eye to look at Percival, Percival's just kind of standing there peeking his head out of Merrick's pack. Uh-huh. He's climbing back into it overnight. And he like stares at you. And he like looks you, looks you dead in the eye. And you look at the cat. And as you look at the cat, Percival begins to change. Like, the white fur, like, molts away a bit and then reshapes itself and he becomes, like, this gray striped cat and then it, like, molts away again and he's, like, this brownish cat and, like... Oh, so I can see different versions? It keeps, like, shifting through all these different styles of cat as Percival sits in the back of Merrick's thing. And then Percival looks at you strangely and goes, You, uh, you all right there? You're looking at me kind of weirdly. Percival, how are you doing that? And suddenly you realize that Freya Freya isn't translating for you anymore. You can just hear Percival talking to you. Wait, Percival, I I heard, I just heard your voice. Well, Freya, yeah, you have to... of course you did. I mean, I've always, oh, oh, I guess, hmm, that doesn't really make sense. And then he just he just keeps shifting through all these different cats as you look at him. But his voice doesn't change. His personality doesn't change. No. One thing you notice is that through all the shifting, Percival never, ever, ever turns into a fully black cat. Oh. Huh. Percival, why are you changing cats? What are you, what are you talking about? I... Joven it's as though you were turning not... into different cats over and over again. Joven, Percival's not changing colors. He's what? just white as he always has been. Percival nods and goes, yeah, you're all right. You seem like you're losing it a I little can... bit. Pure and white, just like a fluffy mm. cloud. No, I can see something about him. I'm just not sure what. Anyway. Well, but I, seem but I can see the... Phi. And Phi. And Phi, like, raises an eyebrow and then appears out of the... Materializes. I can, and I goes, can see your outline. You can see me? Yes, faintly. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Looks I'm like... not surprised at all, because he has glowy green eye now, so I was like, hey, of course, he's got glowy green eye, why not? <laughs> Looks like true sight isn't just something that you called yourself. So here's the other thing. <sighs> Do I feel like I've now lost true. my connection with him? Yes. All right. Yeah, that's definitely gone. It was worth it to be rid of this connection to those those. Vile, I'm a little sketched because on the one hand, I'm looking keepers. at this and I'm going, "Ooh, it would be cool if I can get him to do the same thing yeah, for me, and exactly. I can get greeny eyes." So I, I did, hand, I did that because it, it looked like the eyes. You told us that it looked like the eyes. Right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I also I, didn't I, jump I the also gun too bad. the eyes and was like, "Just as I thought." <laughs> So, <laughs> just as I suspected. So the keepers are here on this island, then. Well, the original keepers, yes, the vestigial ones. They must be the ones in the layer. Yes, the 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 core keepers are, are here. The body, the mm, yes. the head of the snake. 